Good evening. I'm Don Hudson. And I'm Kim Fisher. Thanks for joining us. We begin with that shocking video out of Texas. A man walks up to a woman at an ATM, but what happens next is causing national headlines. Good for Utah's Kimberly Nelson is in the studio tonight with more on that. Kimberly. Kim, this should serve as a reminder for all of us tonight to always be aware of our surroundings, especially when we pull up to a drive through ATM. A robber could be waiting for you, but in this case from Texas, the robber took off with more than just money. He took the car after asking the owner to get into the trunk. It was 1 a.m. last Wednesday when a black Kia rolls up to the Wells Fargo ATM in Arlington, Texas. The woman inserts her card, begins her transaction, and then looks around in the front seat as the machine goes to work. She never notices the young man walking up from behind. I didn't think it was actually happening. He walks around the back of the ATM, then surprises her. He has a cell phone in one hand and a gun in the other. other. He didn't say anything up until he got to my uh, window. I didn't see him either. I didn't hear him. He just kind of popped up in front. He was just like, hey, give me the money. But he doesn't just take the cash. He forces a 21-year-old woman, known only as Kristen, out of her car, but not before asking her to pop the trunk. The man then walks back around the ATM and at gunpoint orders Kristen to climb in. Still, she says she didn't think he would harm her. It didn't seem like he would, though. I don't know. He just didn't have that air about him. The only witness is this camera, and the quality couldn't be clearer. The moment the robber looks directly into the lens, and realizes he's been captured. Still, he climbs into the car, puts his head down, and drives off. Kristen tells police that she was shuttled from bank to bank as a man forced her to take out money at each location. A couple of hours later, though, the man stopped the car and walked away. Kristen was able to escape from the trunk and call for help. But Arlington police are still looking for the suspect. Many people watching are probably thinking, why didn't she just drive off? Why would she get in the trunk? Yeah. I mean, you were even saying it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So what do police say you're supposed to do in that situation? It's really difficult. I called a couple of agencies, and they told me that just the opinions really mixed. They didn't want to say one way or the, uh, or the other. Yeah. In a kidnapping situation, they're saying you want to punch, you want to scream, you want to do anything, but don't go with the kidnapper. In a robbery, they're saying just give up whatever they want, their valuables, their money, because your life's not worth it. But in this situation where the robber turns into a kidnapper, yeah. they're saying the guy's got a gun at you. We don't want to say don't get in the trunk because then he might shoot you, but we don't want to say get in the trunk because typically that doesn't work out in your favor. So a really tough call here. I know you've done a couple stories in, yeah. in those kind of situations. Yeah, usually what I've, what I've heard in these situations is that your body, when you are in a situation where you panic, your whole body just right. kind of tenses up. Right. You think, okay, why don't you scream? Why don't you right. do these things? And it doesn't happen. Right. And so she did just that, and thankfully yeah. she was able to get out of there. A good story, but a reminder again for all of us tonight. Scary situation. All right. Thanks, Kimberly. Thanks.